Hello friends, welcome back to another video of GoTrady. In this video, we are gonna learn how to use multiple config files and how to create a new config file. So the one file is what uh, which is created during the new installation and new setup. See, this is the file which was created during the installation, correct? But what happens when we want to run multiple bots, when we want to run multiple containers? So we might need to use another configuration file. So how can we do that? We will learn in this video. Before that, we have already created two videos. Part one is on the basic installation and part two is on the Docker Compose file. So please check out those videos. Let's start the video. So in order to create a new file, so we will use the command interface and we will name that file as a new config.json file. Okay. So as you can see now, there is no file with the name new config. So when I run this command new config, you will observe that it will ask us for the interactive questions. So by default, we will put as Y. Yes, unlimited open trade three. Okay. So I will explain all these things in the config file. So don't need to worry about that. Okay, a USD and then we will select the exchange as, as Bybit and Telegram for now note, but I'll explain you later on this also. No. Okay. So now when you check that we have a new file as new config to this one. So now we can download data with this new file. We can backtest, we can hyper opt and we can even start trading with this new file. Okay. So for that, what we will do, we will download data with the new config file so when i run this command as you can see here i have mentioned that it is a new config.json file Run this command it will throw us error okay so it says that no pairs available for download so make sure that you are using the correct pair naming okay so as you can see we have made a mistake like we didn't mention the pair list so let's go there and mention the pair list okay so here you can mention the pair list okay i will just go here and i'll mention btc usdt here and also here i will replace the volume as static because while you are back testing with and the dry run mode uh, you have to mention this as static okay so i will just save and so again, when I run this command, it should work. Okay. So let's wait for a few seconds and okay. So it seems like it says that data has been downloaded. And so when you check, you go to data and by bit, and here you can see that data has been downloaded. So here you can see that it's 235 and this is the data which I just downloaded. These are the previous data which I downloaded with the old config file. Okay, just focus on this one. So when you will download data, so you'll be just having the, this one file here. Okay, so okay. So now what we can do, we can backtest with the data. Okay, so we can backtest with this one. So we will mention the new config file here and strategy will be sample strategy. Okay, so let's run this command. Okay. So yeah, back testing. Okay, it's done. And here you can see that we have the profit of $30.51 and the average profit is 0 0.13. Here you can see that initially we have 1000 USD starting balance and final balance we have 1030. So we have a profit of $30.514. So okay so means it is working fine with the new config file we can even hyper opt with the new config file right so i will just select the epoch as 10 i will explain this also so for now just try to focus on this that how we can use the new config file here so it will take few seconds and seems that we are having the results so it is showing for the first epoch okay so now we have this one best so here now the third one is best for now so in the hyper opt what we can do we can check that which strategy will work fine like which data we have to mention there so it will give us the best parameters to mention in the like strategy or the config file the best stop loss then the trailing stop the how much the max open trade should be there so it's really good if you learn this it will definitely help you in trading 
okay and even we can start the trading with this new config file so when i run this command you can see that it is trading live okay as you can see here it is sending the rpc message and even the pid is one means it's uh, the process is working fine here okay so let me cancel this then we, we see the prevalence of the configuration files okay so what happens that it will whatever we mention in this command line argument it will be the top priority like it will precede all the data mentioned in the config file or the strategy file so whatever you mention here it will be it will take the precedence okay then second will be configuration file and third will be strategy file so you can like refer this article below and you can get a good understanding of this okay so now we proceed with the parameters in the config file okay so let's open that config file here okay this is the config row json we will refer this one for now so here we have the max open trades it means that if you mention here three four five whatever so the prep trade will open the maximum three trades like below minimum can be any one two zero but maximum it will not exceed more than three stake currency like if you want to trade with any other coin like btc or eth you can mention here but generally we trade in the usdt the final balance will be in the usdt take amount it's unlimited here why because it depends on the max open trades and the trade in wallet okay so here like when we have the tradable balance ratio is 0 0.99 means it multiply by with thousand it will become 990 right so 990 divided by 3 means the stake amount will be 330 so if you make it as like 0 0.60 means 60 percent so 60 percent into thousand means 600 and 600 divided by 3 means 200 so the stake amount will be 200 so these all are interrelated so you have to make sure that you are mentioning these parameters very correct because sometimes you cannot mention here completely because you need the fee for the exchange fee also so you don't want to your bot will be stopped just because of the exchange fee so mention this as per your like calculations you can make it 0 0.80 even 0 0.50 50 percent 60 percent so that depends on you okay then the dry run wallet so if you make it as false the dry run then it will take the balance from your main exchange if you have connected this if you don't then it will take the like, default amount is thousand dollar and then it will make all these things according to this and i just explain you the maximum like parameters which are really needed because it has multiple parameters so you can refer the official documentation or you can even refer this our website so you will have a detailed documentation so for now what we require only we will mention here okay then the trading mode so generally if sport we can only buy right we can we have only one mode that is buying mode so when the price is going down we cannot trade there so if you mention here as uh, like futures then you can like here futures and the margin mode you can mention as isolated so in that case you can trade uh, like you can even buy you can even sell like you can do both side trading so i'll explain here so you can even go further and check on the exchange website what is spot trading what is futures what is the margin mode like isolated derivatives there are different kind of modes okay these are the entry pricing and exit pricing so this will be explained later on this is not like so much required now okay so now the next is the exchange so here you can mention as your desired exchange like bybit binance ftx whatever ftx is already set down but you can mention your desired exchange here which is supported by the c60 library and then you can mention the key and secret so this you will get from your exchange and then here you can mention the pairs so on which pairs you want to trade okay so it's for the spot so for futures you, you have to mention here the colon and usd again so i'll you will get this in the next videos when we do demo trading for sport and futures okay and here you can mention the blacklist so on which pairs you don't want to trade okay then again on the pair list so when you are doing the live trading you have to make it as a volume because static is just for the back testing or the dry run mode okay and when you are enabling the telegram so you can mention here the it's uh, make it true and token key and chat id so you can get it from the telegram then the api server so it's for the like web ui so you can change the address as per your need and the ports you can even make it different port so you it's not easily like accessible and here the key and the token so like if you don't want to mention 
the things directly you can make it as a keys and you can mention here and obviously the username and password so here the username and password for your web ui login you can mention here then the fret trade name initial state uh, running so like whenever the container starts it will by default be started then the heartbeat interval like in how much seconds you want to check the heartbeat of that container okay so these are the basic things if you want to learn more you can even check the documentation of the frac trade or, or you can even comment down so we can explain you further so this is what for the config parameters here so i'll just cancel this and now you can refer this article and or more you can even refer the frac trade official article so let me show you okay so this is the article and here in the configuration you can see like you can, you can refer all these things like there are multiple parameters so you can refer and you can read more if you need okay so we will meet in the next video and next video uh, we will explain you how to download data and how to do the back testing okay so let's meet in the next video until then bye bye take care have a nice day